Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great, chosen one. If you are watching this video right now, I'm telling you, you are so blessed, right? God loves you. I radiate love, peace, goodwill, and good health to you, and all of God's heavenly blessings to you. Take that, take that, take that, take that. You're going out, be blessed. You're coming in, be blessed. Chosen one, God loves you so much, I'm telling you. Yes, you read the title, right? Great. Someone lose you, and they are now crying for losing you. Oh, yes, chosen one. Most of the time, that is what happens. When you have pure intentions, when you are honest, when you are truthful, when you are trustworthy, when you are humble, when you are kind, generous, when you are a loving, compassionate, empathetic person, you are a forgiving person, when you are emotionally intelligent, when you are peaceful, right? In all these ways, I tell you, people always lose you. You don't lose them. Oh, yes, when you have pure intentions, you don't lose people. People lose you. And that is the sort of person you are. You, under the sound of my voice right now, you are a very good person. You are a very kind person. You are a peaceful person. You are a loving person. You are compassionate. You, you, you have emotional intelligence. You are forgiven, right? You have the fruit of the spirit, right and that is who you are so if at the end of the day someone betray you someone reject you someone choose someone over you oh i'm telling you you've not lose such people such people lose you and they are going to cry over you with time to come for now it will seem like they are winning i'm telling you i repeat for now it will seem like they are winning but you can win with this honesty you can win with this loyalty you can win with not being peace peaceful you can win when you are chaotic when you can win when you are not humble you can win when you cannot be trusted you can win when everything about you is cheating you cannot win it will seem like such people are winning today but i tell you chosen one a time will come in their life a time will come in each person's life that they will realize that mm, they have lost something huge they've lost their mineral their precious mineral gold yes whilst they were busy chasing pebbles marble stones i'm telling you chosen one yes that is who you are you are such a beautiful soul and you don't lose people it's people that lose you because your soul is beautiful because you are one of a kind because you are one in a million because god got you because you are chosen and not forsaken because you are the light your light keeps shining so bright oh yes and because of that you've not lose oh yes don't you ever think that you've lose out of your kindness, if you try to be in a relationship with somebody and you are given, you are so you, you are the type that you give a lot, you, you invest a lot into the relationship, and at the end of the day, the person pull away from you, the person rejected you, the person betray you, the person choose somebody, someone over you. It will feel like you are losing, but I tell you, you are not losing at all. You are winning. Oh yes, you are winning. It is they that they are losing, they lose you you never lose them i'm telling you just leave it to time just leave everything whatever you know the betrayal the rejections the disappointment the abandonment just leave everything to time and time will tell your side of the story way better off than you could ever do than you could ever tell i'm telling you chosen one i have not seen where lies overcome truth oh yes i've not seen it no matter how long a lie is sustained, the truth will one day prevail. Oh, yes. And for the truth to set one free, one must know which lies are keeping him or her in hostage. You are a loving person. You are a kind person. You invest so much into the relationship. And at the end of the day, the person left you. Yes, it will feel like you've lost. You've not. I'm telling you that you've not. They have lost you. You see, in fact, they've rather save you of more time and more energy. 
Rejecting you is protection. When someone rejects you, it is protection. When someone rejects you, they are saving your time. What if they did not reject you at that point in time? But they keep on lying, comforting you with their lies, and they keep on being with you, being with a fake person, right? It is God that has exposed them. It is, it is that the, their time of lying, of being dishonest, of being unfaithful, of cheating, of, you know, doing a whole lot of wicked things has come to an end. God has exposed them, and God is removing them from your life. Okay, so now God wants you as a chosen one to start to focus on yourself, to start to focus on you, to start to focus on he, God, because he brought you to this earth. He has given you life and he wants you to be in his divine purpose. Right? Great. So that is how it's going to be. It is protection. In fact, they have saved you from a whole lot of things. So don't be mad when someone rejects you. Don't be mad when they choose somebody over you. Don't be mad when you are a very serene person, peaceful person, calm person, and people think that that is weakness. That is never weakness. We are living in a generation, in a world whereby if you are so loving, you are so kind, you are so generous, you are so forgiving, you, are, you have emotional intelligence, people think that, oh, you are weak, but that is not weakness. It is just that your intentions are pure. It is just that you have a good, charming, pleasing, charismatic personality. You have a strength of character that only few people have. I'm telling you. So, with that, because there is so many people that don't have such traits, so many people aren't going to be able to value you. They aren't going to be able to hold on to you because in the first place, they don't even know what they have. They don't know what they have. So one day, one day, they are going to realize that mm, they've lost something valuable. Oh, yes, they've lost something valuable. F you see, because they, they, they are not mature, they feel like, oh, yes, uh, you, you, you are rather weak. Yes, it's because they are, they are not matured. If someone is not mature, the person cannot embrace your loving nature. Your compassionate nature, your forgiving nature, your kind nature. You be, you be nice. The person will think, oh, nice people. Uh, oh, you are too nice. Nice people always lose. But I tell you, nice people never lose. Nice people always win at the end. It always seems like they are losing from the beginning. But they never lose anything. Especially if you are a visionary. You have vision. And you have potentials. You embrace self-development after a breakup you've not lose just embrace self-development and build yourself and learn how to detach yourself from the from 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 negative emotions detach yourself emotionally from people and i tell you that is going a long way to help you just embrace self-development and learn these things. Learn to be financially free. Learn to be financially independent. Learn to be creative, to be creating something. Learn to hit the gym to build some strength and muscle. Learn to look good. Learn to love yourself. These are things that only few can do for themselves, I'm telling you. So if you are doing it for yourself, you are going to win big time. Every successful person has this strength of character that people always think. From the beginning, people think it is weakness. But later, they realize that mm, it is not weakness. Yes, it is not weakness at all. Because you are a spiritual person. You think different. You see differently. You have different perspective about things. People will think, oh, you are, um, you know, you are too primitive. You don't know what you are up to, you know. But you are the winner. You are the true winner. At the end of the day, you are going to win big time. Oh, yes, you are going to win big time. Because God is with you. You have inside of you the trait of God. You have inside of you the characteristics of God. You have inside of you the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And that is what makes one prosperous. That is what makes one a winner. That is what makes that draw God so close to you. I'm telling you. So just embrace self-development. If someone chose someone over you, someone left you, 
embrace self-development and i tell you your life is never gonna be the same in five years to come in ten years to come they will see you and they will marvel they will see you and they will be surprised they will see you and they will be astonished they will see you and they will shy they will see you and they can't look into your eyes they will see you and they will start crying they will see you and they will realize that no They've lost something huge. They've, left, uh, they've lost their diamond, their gold, their precious thing. Oh, yes, chosen one. Yes. Stop living in self-pity. Stop, stop living as a victim. And embrace self-development now. Embrace self-development. Okay? Just take this time to focus on yourself, to work on yourself. Embrace temporary voluntary celibacy. That is going to help change your life. That is the first step you need to take after a breakup. That is the first remedy to serve if you want to develop yourself. That is the first thing you need to do. Embrace temporary voluntary celibacy. And that is going to turn your life around. That is going to help you to be more creative. That is going to help you to be more focused. That is going to help you to be more charismatic. That is going to help you to, I mean, get rid of all the anxieties, all the brain fogs, and that is going to make you um, very brilliant, very acceptive, very, you know, um, charming, very beautiful, very handsome, and very tough, you know, very vibrant, all right? That is that is what is going to craft you that is what is going to make you into the man god wants you to be the woman god wants you to be i tell you if you don't embrace the self-development after the breakup after someone left you after someone pulled away from you after someone betrayed you right the cycle is going to re repeat itself but the moment you embrace self-development and you go on temporary voluntary celibacy and as you are practicing this temporary voluntary celibacy you start to learn a skill to be creative in some way. You start to build the rightful mindset. You start to build some strength and muscle, right? You start to be in your purpose, be doing something that is purposeful. You're not living in a victim as a victim. You're not living as a. Uh, you're not living in self pity, but you you, you embrace these things. You you read. You learn. You focus on you. You take some time to invest in, in your life. I tell you, your life is never ever going to be the same. And you will realize that, no. Even that person that you are trying to settle with is of low class. Oh, yes, is below your standard. I'm telling you, you will realize. Because the moment you embrace self-development, there is going to be some growth. And when that growth comes, it comes with everything. It comes with the rightful mindset, the positive mental attitude. It comes with discipline. It comes with strength. It, it makes you more creative. It makes you more charismatic. It, you know, the financial freedom is going to come. Okay? So your eyes is going to open to more broader things. You're, you're, you're going to have more options. You, you, you can assess a whole lot of people, both poor, middle class, average, you know, um, rich. You know. So... You have so many options to choose from now. Yes. You, so you've not lose. In fact, they've lost you. They've lose you. If your intentions are pure, you never lose. It, people always lose you. I'm telling you. If you are a good-hearted person and you know within you that you are a good-hearted hearted person, you are kind, you are loving, you are compassionate, you are charming, you're beautiful, you, you, when I'm talking about beauty, I'm not talking about the things necessary on the outside. Beauty is not what is not necessary on the outside. Your beauty could be what makes you unique. Your beauty could be your intelligence. Your beauty could be your kindness. Your beauty could be your loving nature, your empathetic nature, your forgiving nature. Your beauty is something that has to do within, right? That is your beauty. And that is what separates you from others. You are a winner. If someone is not appreciating your loving nature, your kindness, and they give up on you, right? Embrace self-development and start to build the right for mindset. Start to work on yourself. St start to do the needful. Start to invest in yourself. Start to love yourself, right? Start to do that and I tell you, you will never regret 
but they have everything to regret with. And it, 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 it happens all the time. It happens most of the time in this life that we're living in. There are couples of stories that, that I know of that people always betray people with pure intentions. And at the end of the day, they lose it. And the people that they were thinking, they were rather weak. They were thinking, oh, they are not outgoing, they, they, they are not sociable, they, 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 they don't go to the clubs, they don't go to the parties, they don't drink, they don't do a whole lot of, you know, bad stuff and things, you know. They are losing, they are rather the people that are winning. Because these are the people that always prosper. Yes, always prosper and live long. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived just because someone is not appreciating your love. I'm telling you, it is a blessing. So never ever get mad. Never ever get mad. A time will come. <laughs> God, the universe karma, will tell your side of the story way better than you could ever do. So just let it be and keep focusing on you. All right? Keep focusing on you. Keep doing you. Find your divine purpose and stay in it. Keep working hard. Keep saving. Keep investing. And I tell you, in some few years to come, you will give my stone back to me. You will say, Paul, yes, indeed. It has happened. My life has turned around for good. In fact, that rejection was indeed protection. It was life-saving. It saves my time. It did not waste my time the more. Yes. So don't get mad at all. Okay? Don't ever get mad. Remember, people always reject beautiful things, beautiful souls. People always reject ex ex expensive things when they go on shopping. Sometimes it's not because they don't want it. It is because they don't have the need to afford it. They can't afford it. Yes. They can't afford it with a rightful character. They can't afford you. You are too expensive. They can't afford you. So that is why that has to happen. The breakup has to happen. They have to choose somebody over you. Right? I'm telling you, at the end of the day, at the end of it all, pure people, People with pure intention are going to win. So you are a winner. You are not a loser. You are an achiever and not a failure. You are the head and not the tail. You are a victor and not a victim. Yes. That is, that is it. That is it. So don't sit there and be crying. Embrace self-development. And that is the key. Right? That is the key. That is what school will never teach you. But I tell you, if you take time to teach yourself, to learn, to learn how to be financially independent, how to detach your emotions from people, hey, hey you've gained a power that people are going to be afraid of you. Oh, yes, because people will try to manipulate you emotionally. They will try to manipulate you with love and other things. But when you love to love without expectation, you detach your emotions, it is just beautiful. You become a dangerous person. That's it. You stop giving your power to people. You understand that the only power people have over you is the power you give to them. So the moment... You detach yourself emotionally. You embrace things of self-development. You embrace silence over speech. You embrace, you embrace your, your, your solitude over society. You become a dangerous person because you can no longer be manipulated. You can read people. You can see people for who they are. You see, what you've been through is to mold you. People come in our life to either be of a blessing, of a lesson, 
Yes. So that's it. Be stoic. Just be a stoic person. Be used to the pain and change that pain into something huge, something great. Right? If you cried over someone, make sure you don't cry for the same mistake, for the same thing again. Embrace self-development and change your life. Right? Great. So that is it. Someone who left you for giving all the love, you having pure intention, they lose you. You've not lost them. Stay great. Right? Raise your chest up high and be blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace.